I feel so cute. I don't like it. Before the year ends. Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. It's been a long day and this vlog was supposed to start earlier today, but I have been drained, like today dreaming. Which is why I'm just not cooking, just starting the vlog, having another coffee for today. I made a dirty chai and I made content with it for Instagram. But um, I'm just not doing these things because it's been a long day. It's been a very long day. It's been a draining day. And um, I'll explain it to you guys later. I think it's like 6, 6 p.m feels like 10 but it's like 6 30. this vlog is going to be a reset vlog is that what we're calling it nowadays like when you're cleaning your house there's some things i need to get in order and i figured i would just vlog it it might if it's not a reset vlog for sure this vlog is going to have some reset in it all right because i don't i clean every day so We'll see how much footage I'm able to get with the things I still have left to do. But there are some changes I would like to make before the year ends. between your two fingers and then you have to blend it to kind of turn it into a soup i cook but i don't explain food like i'm not a food vlogger vlogger whatever i'm not that then they're having it with chicken and so that's a very late dinner for tonight You want to say hi to the vlog? I'm back. The food is not done yet, but um, we have a situation. I need to move some things around in my kitchen. I wanted to wait. I mean, I had the option of waiting till, till tomorrow to do it, but tomorrow I have a coffee day. And right now I'm already in the kitchen, so why not do it now? And deal with the rest later. Can you give me a garbage bag? Sure. And deal with the rest later. So, I'm currently about to get rid of, I'm currently about to get rid of all the plastic in my cabinets. I think it's time. I'm getting rid of all of them. I think at one time we decluttered and did this already and for, I don't know how it came back. My husband had them in the oven and I don't know how, when, where, but it came back. Somebody had to buy more so we could get more, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm getting rid of these. That's task number one. They all have to go. So, and then I have this. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys. I have this container with like a whole bunch of tops this container right here with like a whole bunch of tops to cups that I, I don't even know where this stuff goes to i have some that goes to mason jars which i had like so many mason jars and these kids probably broke them all but if it doesn't have a top or I can't figure it out. I'm throwing it away. 
I think I'll keep the ones that look a little bit newer and they have a top to them. Other than that, they gotta go. They have to go. They're taking up too much space. We don't use half of them. The ones that we do use are overused. I, I, I just can't explain what's going on, but I'm finally over it. So I'm getting rid of them now. Like these I bought so long ago and I don't use them. So it's going. I do have plans to replace these by the way. Like especially stuff like this. I can't I can't take it. I can't. Alright, I'm gonna serve my son food and come back to show you guys what else I'm getting rid of or doing next. So the next thing I have to do is, obviously the dishes need to be put away, but I have a cabinet down here that I kind of took all the small appliances that was on top of the countertops. I removed them and I put them in the cabinet down here. And for like the third time, my husband has asked me to move them because he doesn't think it's a good idea um, to have small appliances down there. So I'm gonna take what's in this bottom cabinet and put them in here and what's in here is going to go in the bottom cabinet i think i'm going to montage this out guys because i do have to take care of the kitchen so i'm going to montage the rest of this out the food is still not done we're just waiting on the chicken meat takes so long to cook i just i hate that part i really do when you have kids nothing stays neat I don't understand why this toaster is up like this. The last person I remember with the toaster is my son and he's swearing that he didn't do this. But I know it was him. So I'm going to move all this, clean out this cabinet, and what's going to be under here now is like my vases and stuff. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of take my makeup off first and I think I'm gonna tie my hair down for this part One I'm going to tie my hair down for this part um I want to take my makeup off but I'm not ready to shower yet <laughs> and that's where we run into the issue I relaxed my hair yesterday it looks 
so good. And it was for me to make content today. Also, because my hair was not laying down. One thing about it with short hair, if you're relaxed, you have to keep on top of the relaxers because after a while, the, the mold will not hold. I don't care what you say, it's not going to hold. Um, this is the lazy way I figured out how to tie my hair. But yeah, I, um, today I was supposed to shoot content and then go to the gym. <sighs> I went to the doctor's office. I feel so cute. I feel so cute. A beat face with a hair tie. Like you literally can't tell me a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. But I went <laughs> I went to the doctor's office this morning and it was the EMT. That visit drained me. They had me waiting for an hour over an hour i think it was a lot leading up to the final frustration and this is what happened i got to my appointment on time i stood in front of the receptionist and she was on the phone she did acknowledge me and told me to hold on i did feel like i waited a little too long as far as i'm aware when it comes down to customer service, she could have literally told the person on the phone, can you please hold a minute and took care of me and had me go sit down. I was standing there until she was done with the phone call. And then she took me to the back, which was the waiting area. I got to the waiting area and I was just sitting there. By the time I left the waiting area, it was an hour. It was an hour. I was falling asleep, dozing off, just tired. Then I got into the exam room and the, the lady came in, took my vitals and had me waiting there again. At this point, I'm already tired. It took effort to get ready to leave the house. On top of that, I was supposed to put some meat out to thaw it out, which is another reason why I'm cooking so late. And I forgot to do that. And the whole time I'm just sitting in there thinking about everything that I didn't do to make this appointment just for me to have to wait this long at a private doctor's office, not a clinic. If it was a clinic, I would have understood. It was a private doctor's office and I waited well over an hour. And I just walked out. I walked out of the exam room. I went to the receptionist. I told her that it was ridiculous that I, I've been waiting over an hour to see the doctor. And she's like, oh, do you want me to call somebody? No, I do not. I'm going home now and I walked out and I feel like that incident drained me the rest of the day so everything I had to do to the back seat and me being drained guess what I came home and went for a nap I took a nap I wanted to show you guys what happened and why I was so drained and why everything's happening so late um but yeah I'm about to take off my makeup now I don't even know if the content I did came out great but I feel like I did my makeup so good today. So, so good. Other than that, I'm taking off my makeup and I wanted to show you guys this part. I can't take this internally. Like, as far as having it internally, it's not a great idea for me to deal with all the oil. But I'm going to use it to take off my makeup. This is olive oil from Walgreens. <laughs> That's the cheapest way to take off your makeup. The lighting in my bathroom looks amazing. Um, so all I really do is pour the oil in my hand. And over the sink, of course. And I apply it to my face. A lot of people probably already know about this hack. Or I don't like to say hack. Because I feel like when it, when it's it's not a hack if somebody else was doing it before. 
Makeup is already oil based, so when you use an oil to take it off, it literally helps the makeup come right up. Another thing is olive oil is really, really, really good for your skin. For those of you who are new here, I'm licensed <laughs> for this skin as well. I've never worked on my skincare license, which is crazy. I've had it for I've had it for years and I've never worked on it. But I am licensed and I did pay attention in class. I think most of the things that I've learned for skincare, I've used it on myself and my daughter. <laughs> Maybe I I did the dual the dual course just for me. But I picked up on nails and I've been doing nails ever since. Grapeseed oil too, avocado oil. Oil cleansing is a thing, especially in Japanese skincare or Asian. I want to say Asian because I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese. So I'm going to say Asian um, skincare. They oil cleanse. It's good for acne prone skin as well uh, because it kind of just tricks your skin into thinking that it's producing a lot of oil. It kind of like I don't know how to explain it. It kind of like balances it out by tricking your skin. All right. So once you look like you're ready to be dropped in oil, I'm going to take the lid off too. I use these or like um, paper towel, but I'm going to use this. And you just literally wipe off the makeup. I don't know whose dog that is. It's not mine. I don't have a dog. But that dog is interrupting the vlog. Alright. See already how well my makeup is off. All I have to do now is wash my face. I'm gonna wash it regular, like how I would regularly wash it. That's it, do my normal skincare. And that's how I take off my makeup look. It already looks like it's off. That dog is so disrespectful. I wish I knew whose dog that was. Going on a coffee date. Oh. And this thing is shaking real bad. I'm on, I'm on I-95 right now, so it's gonna be shaking. It's gonna be a little shaky, but I'm headed to a coffee date today. And um, it says I'm gonna make it on time. I'm supposed to be there at 9.30 and it's nine o'clock. I mean, it's saying that the estimated time is 9 a.m. Fingers crossed because I'm getting into traffic where the cars are hardly moving, so I don't know how this is actually going to go. Um, yeah, the GPS is red right now, and when it's red, y'all know what that means. A lot of people are headed to work, so that could possibly be it. There's something on my screen and I don't know what I turned on, I'm trying to put this thing on a tripod and drive at the same time. But yeah guys, I'm going to drive. I'm going to hop on the phone with my husband. Um, because we were actually in deep conversation. But my, um, what do you call this thing? My GPS wouldn't load. And I've never been to this place before. So I'm going to try to finish up our conversation before I get to my coffee date. And then I'll talk to you guys I'm here. I made it to the destination and I made it on time. It is currently 9.06. Um, why am I so close? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie. I've had I've had a moment. I've had a time trying to vlog on my way here. 
I was wondering like why am I so close? I must have hit something on this camera. I don't know what I touched. But hopefully um I didn't mess anything up. But I'm here and I have like 10 minutes to spare. Let me let me text her until I'm here. The outfit that I have on is not the outfit that I have planned to wear. I was just thinking yesterday I was making content. Trying to pick out my outfit for my coffee date today. And um, this it's not what I'm wearing. <laughs> I felt more comfortable in what I have on now. I didn't put on makeup but I did want to go for a dewy face. So I slathered everything on <laughs> everything on and i think it's doing what it has to do the face is definitely it's giving what i expected it to give I'm trying to fix my hair what i did do Um, I did eyebrows this morning. I left the house with skincare, eyebrows, and mascara. So I have on a little bit of mascara. I did my eyebrows. I filled them in because if you've been following me a while, you know that I hardly have any eyebrows thanks to my mother. <laughs> I realize as I get older, they're going to be even thinner because I'm watching her get older which is bittersweet. I look at my mom and I, I'm i just watching my parents age. Well, my mom, because I see my mom more often. It's bittersweet. So yeah, my eyebrows are going to be even thinner. <laughs> I thought I had thin eyebrows. Just wait, wait till I get in my 50s. I already know what it's gonna look like because there are days I'm a spitting image of my mom. I don't. We don't have the same complexion but there are days uh, i look just just like her so i have a dilemma <laughs> i just realized i have a dilemma i forgot my um it's a small dilemma y'all i'm that dramatic i usually travel with a hygiene kit wearing invisalign i need a hygiene kit because i'm not with the See, I just put lotion on. See, today Florida decided it's going to participate in winter. And I literally just put lotion on. And look, I don't have time for this. But what I was saying is my hygiene kit is important to me because I'm not the type of person to rinse their mouth and then put the liners back in. No, I'm finding a bathroom and I'm going to brush my teeth. And I usually also carry disposable, um, what do you call those? I carry disposable floss picks. This lotion is holding on for dear life. The fact that I got here and realized that I switched bags and don't have my hygiene kit in this bag, or not even in the car, because sometimes I mess around and leave it in the car, which I feel like is the safest place for it to be, if I'm being honest. Because I only need it when I'm on the go. So. Yeah. I don't know. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Well, hopefully. I'm trying to see. Because if there's a. Um, if there's like a Walgreens. Or a CVS. Even like. A Publix or Walmart something close by that I could I could just grab one real quick I don't care right after this I have I have to take my car to Tesla during the vlog that I told you guys that it was raining non-stop my back trunk started leaking my back trunk started leaking so now I had to make an appointment with Tesla so now I have to go and get it and take care of it today because 
from that time, today was the first day available. Crazy. So yeah. I just want to make sure I'm cute. <laughs> and I'll catch up with you guys a little later. This whole thing is so cute. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Sure. I won't put you on unless you're comfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. It's only 12 and I'm drained. I just got back from Tesla. It was pretty quick. They gave me a loaner because they're going to have my car for a week or two. They're behind, they're backed up. They have like 150 cars to work on. So they're just adding my car to the list. What I'm trying to figure out is why did they let me keep my car until they were actually ready? Because the loaner that they gave me, I don't like it. And I'm sitting in my car because today is Wednesday, which is also grocery day. I'm having such a busy morning. I'm trying to figure out if I'm even going to make it to the gym today. Which, it's not my gym day anyways. I was just going to go. Okay, so I'm at Trader Joe's down the street from Tesla. And deep down inside of me, I feel like my loaner shouldn't be ordered in my car. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm being a brat. Maybe they could have left me without a loaner, but I mean, why couldn't they just have me bring in my car the day that they estimated that they would be fixing it? Why did they have me drop my car off today for a week or two? I'm not, I'm really not understanding. It's not, it's not adding up. I'm trying to add it up. I've been sitting in this car for 10 minutes. Trying to figure out what to do. I've texted my husband already. And maybe I need that push. Or maybe I should just not be a brat and be grateful that I have a loner. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I like my car. In my head when they said that it was gonna give me a loaner I thought it was gonna be something new even if it was a different color I don't like it but I'm going in here I'm going to go do my groceries <laughs> y'all I'm annoyed but I'm gonna go do my groceries and then head home I might have to take another nap today because this week is starting off a little stressful. And maybe this is not a big deal. Maybe I should not make this a big deal. Maybe I should just be grateful. Maybe. I feel like if I'm going to say something about it, it needs to be now. I don't want to go so far home and realize no you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go do my groceries i'll come back i'll chat it up with you guys later i'm gonna go and figure this out i need to figure it out i need to i need to make a decision because i think i want a i think i want a newer loaner and i'm gonna call them while i'm um, doing my groceries but i'll take you guys grocery shopping with me so you guys can see what i got and then as far as chatting it up and the updates, I'll let you guys know later when I get home.
Good morning. Good morning vlog. Welcome to another day in the vlog. In good old Sony fashion, my camera's about to die. I just got back from the ortho. I needed to catch you guys up with what happened yesterday. I ended up changing the car because I just couldn't do it. Like, and I felt like I had the option, I had the choice, and that's what customer service is about. So I did end up going back to Tesla. Hey guys. I'm just getting back on after literally going through the day. The, the camera died, I put it on the charger and I'm about to go edit my content for Monday. So you guys have, we have a vlog. We have a vlog, the Thanksgiving vlog. By the time you watch this, we'll be out. It's, it's a very short vlog. That was a very weird vlog for me to do. Well, different, I'm not gonna say weird because weird, I feel like it's more on the negative side. It was very different um, for me to do that type of vlog. I don't think I thought it out as much as I should have, but I still enjoy watching it back. I still enjoy seeing my family together and just me doing what I like to do, which is feeding my family. I think last time we spoke before the camera died, I was letting you guys know that I switched the car. I couldn't do it y'all. I switched it. They gave me a newer one. They were so okay with it. They didn't give me a hard time. At first they asked me, should we wash it? Should we wash the car that you have now? And I'm like, no, it's not just that. Like the car is squeaking up under me. I'm like, it's, it's not giving Tesla. The car that I gave to you guys is not the one that you guys, like it's not holding up to standard with the one that you guys are loaning me. And I get it, it's a loaner. But if it was going to be an issue, it would... I think my next question would have been, can you guys just call me the day that you guys are gonna fix my car since you guys are like 120 cars behind? I feel like that would have been proper as well. But anyways, guys, I'm on my way to, I'm in the bathroom. I'm trying to, I'm on my way to a baby shower and it's kind of cool outside so I could do this simple face i'm a little late but i'm okay with that hair always on a pixie i like what i have going on here this is h&m but this is like real gold um from banter the watch is the oyster perpetual i have two bracelets on you can't see one but i'm holding a selfie stick so i can't my charm my key charm and i have on jeans with this hopefully i can get some footage at the baby shower because i'm late and my room is a mess because i made it a mess whenever i get dressed it's a mess so i'll talk to you guys later December 1st because where did 2023 decide that it needed to go I'm so shook look y'all we in December we are in December I just I, I keep saying it because I can't believe it I really can't but I hope you guys are having an amazing morning um, I hope it's been an amazing week because it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. I'm so happy that I have made it to Friday because it's been a long week for me. I've been putting out fires since, if not Monday, definitely Tuesday. I got my first phone call home for Jada in the history of her ever being enrolled in anybody's educational institution, okay? And that was 
a little shocking. It was a little shocking to have received a phone call home from her. She's getting, she got in trouble in school this week. And I think as a mom, that definitely put some pressure on me. I wanna, I wanna say that's where the pressure of the week started. And from there we had the issue with my car and getting that situated and settled and dropping the car off and everything. I've been dealing with client issues. Hopefully next week will be a better week, an easier week, a more relaxed week for me. Y'all, I really turned on this camera because I wanted to make breakfast with you guys. Um, so let's do it. The only thing is I'm looking at my my camera and it's literally telling me i have two minutes left on this sd card so i think one more fire will be um to go to best buy and get a new sd card because i don't even think you guys are gonna get to see me make breakfast oh my gosh because now it's on one minute okay this is ghetto this is ghetto i'm gonna try to go clear out some space um maybe some content that i've already posted i don't know even know if i said it I don't even know if I brought y'all in properly. I realized that you could be anywhere on this big old YouTube and you decided to be here and for that I am so thankful for you. Thank you guys for watching. Hey guys, um, what's funny is when I first started this vlog, I didn't realize that the time frame was going to fall into Vlogmas. So although I did not begin this vlog introducing you guys to Vlogmas, I am going to make this outro an outro for Vlogmas. Um, I do want to thank you guys for your continual support. I see the growth in my channel. I see the views growing, the comments. I would love for you guys to comment more. For those of you who are watching and have not yet commented and have not yet chatted with me, I would appreciate it. As a matter of fact, you help me to be able to make more of these videos when you comment in the comment section. Because it's not only when you view the video that YouTube counts it as engagement. Even better, chat with me. I actually want to talk to you guys. As I'm building this community, I want to get to know you guys as you guys are getting to know me. And what better way to do it than to communicate? So, um, as I sit here on Saturday, I just put up the first Vlogmas video, which wasn't really a Vlogmas video. It was supposed to go out on Monday. And at the last minute, I decided I was going to do Vlogmas. So, the Thanksgiving recap like whatever snippets I, I was able to catch because obviously I was in the kitchen all day that day um that just went up it went live if you haven't caught it yet by the time you watch this one go ahead and you know circle back <laughs> circle back for your girl but I appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for supporting me I am watching my channel grow and literally every time I get one more new subscriber I'm so like you guys don't understand if you ever had to grow something, you understand. Like, you understand the excitement of starting something and literally watching it grow one subscriber at a time. Some days I wake up and it's obviously more than one. But during the day, if I check my analytics more than once and I see, like, it's one subscriber more than when I checked it when I first woke up, I get so excited. Because I know every subscriber that's being added 
is one step closer to me reaching my goal of 500 subscribers and for some reason i feel like i'm going to hit that goal because the goal was by the end of december into january to have five my 500 subscribers which is not i don't think it's impossible at this point i see it coming i see it coming but for vlogmas i do have a request i would like your suggestions on what it is that you would like to see from me i have a list of ideas that i'm working on as far as well i've already worked on as far as what type of content and what type of videos that i want to make for this vlogmas season but for you guys what is it that you would like to see from me i would love to hear your request um and hopefully i can make it happen for you but i have to end this here because i have to hurry up and go edit this video so that i can have it out by tonight hopefully i can have it out by tonight because every time i say that like my lifestyle does not allow me to do the things i say i'm going to do sometimes because it just gets busy it really does it gets really busy this morning i, I was feeling sick up until just a couple hours ago and i was in the bed like i had plans to be in my office all day but i'm like just bring the laptop to the bed i'll lay here and i'll get the content out I'll, I'll do what i have to do because i really want to do vlogmas so yeah guys i it's not easy but one thing about me and i was telling my husband this the other day i'm pointing outside because he's outside one thing about me and i was telling my husband that the other day like i've never been afraid to do the work <laughs> if i could have a stomach ache like aching stomach aching not no baby ache and not feel well and be laying in the bed editing and making sure that i get a vlog out for vlogmas for you guys like i've never been afraid of the work and i will never be afraid to do the work and because that's the only way to see growth that's the only way you ever grow anything you have to tend Whatever it is that you, that whatever seed that you're planting, if you don't tend to it, it will not grow. It cannot grow. If you've planted a seed and the work that you need to do in order to tend to that seed is not done, there's no fruit coming from that seed. So being that I know this, I'm never afraid to work and I'll never be afraid to put in the work. I, I said I wanted to do this YouTube thing. I got on and I've been doing it. The community that I am after, that I am, you know, I'm searching after I know will find me because I'm doing the work I'm doing the work and I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in I have to close out this vlog but thank you guys so much for watching thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you are here and you have not subscribed yet I don't even know what you're waiting for go ahead and subscribe I mean the hesitation is not doing anything for you go ahead subscribe and hit the bell button so that you're notified the next time I post another video bye y'all